In convex geometry, a convex set is a subset of an affine space that is closed under convex combinations. More specifically, in a Euclidean space, a convex region is a region where, for every pair of points within the region, every point on the straight line segment that joins the pair of points is also within the region. For example, a solid cube is a convex set, but anything that is hollow or has an indent, for example, a crescent shape, is not convex. The boundary of a convex set is always a convex curve. The intersection of all the convex sets that contain a given subset A of Euclidean space is called the convex hull of A. It is the smallest convex set containing A. A convex function is a real-valued function defined on an interval with the property that its epigraph the set of points on or above the graph of the function is a convex set. Convex minimization is a subfield of optimization that studies the problem of minimizing convex functions over convex sets. The branch of mathematics devoted to the study of properties of convex sets and convex functions is called convex analysis. The notion of a convex set can be generalized as described below. Topic: In vector spaces. Let S be a vector space over the real numbers or more generally over some ordered field. This includes Euclidean spaces. A set C in S is said to be convex if, for all x and y in C and all t in the interval 0, 1, the point 1 minus t x plus t also belongs to C. In other words, every point on the line segment connecting x and y is in C. This implies that a convex set in a real or complex topological vector space is path-connected, thus connected. Furthermore, C is strictly convex if every point on the line segment connecting X and Y other than the endpoints is inside the interior of C. A set C is called absolutely convex if it is convex and balanced. The convex subsets of R, the set of real numbers, are the intervals of R. Some examples of convex subsets of the Euclidean plane are solid regular polygons, solid triangles, and intersections of solid triangles. Some examples of convex subsets of a Euclidean three-dimensional space are the Archimedean solids and the Platonic solids. The kepler poinsot polyhedra are examples of non-convex sets. <laughs> non-convex set Concave set Redirects here, a set that is not convex is called a non-convex set. A polygon that is not a convex polygon is sometimes called a concave polygon, and some sources more generally use the term concave set to mean a non-convex set, but most authorities prohibit this usage. The complement of a convex set, such as the epigraph of a concave function, is sometimes called a reverse convex set, especially in the context of mathematical optimization. Properties If S is a convex set in n-dimensional space, then for any collection of R, R greater than 1, n-dimensional vectors U1 R in S, and for any non-negative numbers λ1 λ R such that λ1 plus plus λ R equals 1, then one has K equals 1 r lambda k u k element of s display style sum underscore k equals 1 caret r lambda underscore k u underscore k in s a vector of this type is known as a convex combination of u1 r Topic: Intersections and unions. The collection of convex subsets of a vector space has the following properties: the empty set and the whole vector space are convex. 
The intersection of any collection of convex sets is convex. The union of a non-decreasing sequence of convex subsets is a convex set. For the preceding property of unions of non-decreasing sequences of convex sets, the restriction to nested sets is important. The union of two convex sets need not be convex. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Closed convex sets. Closed convex sets are convex sets that contain all their limit points. They can be characterized as the intersections of closed half spaces, sets of point in space that lie on and to one side of a hyperplane. From what has just been said, it is clear that such intersections are convex and they will also be closed sets. To prove the converse, i.e., every convex set may be represented as such intersection, one needs the supporting hyperplane theorem in the form that for a given closed convex set C and point P outside it, there is a closed half-space H that contains C and not P. The supporting hyperplane theorem is a special case of the hahn banach theorem of functional analysis. Convex sets and rectangles Let C be a convex body in the plane. We can inscribe a rectangle R in C such that a homothetic copy R of R is circumscribed about C. The positive homothety ratio is at most 2 and 1 2 area R area C 2 Area R display style tfrac one two c d o t text area R L E Q text area C L E Q two c d o t text area R. Topic: Convex hulls and Minkowski sums. Topic: Convex hulls. Every subset A of the vector space is contained within a smallest convex set, called the convex hull of A, namely the intersection of all convex sets containing A. The convex hull operator conva has the characteristic properties of a hull operator. The convex hull operation is needed for the set of convex sets to form a lattice, in which the join operation is the convex hull of the union of two convex sets conva s conva t topic conva st conva conva s conva t the intersection of any collection of convex sets is itself convex so the convex subsets of a real or complex vector space form a complete lattice Topic: Minkowski addition. In a real vector space, the Minkowski sum of two non-empty sets, S1 and S2, is defined to be the set S1 plus S2 formed by the addition of vectors element-wise from the summand sets. S1 plus S2 equals X1 plus X2, X1 element of S1, X2 element of S2. More generally, the Minkowski sum of a finite family of non-empty sets Sn is the set formed by element-wise addition of vectors n S n equals n X n X n element of s n display style sum underscore n s underscore n equals left sum underscore n x underscore n x underscore n in s underscore n right for minkowski addition the zero set 0 containing only the zero vector 0 has special importance for every non empty subset s of a vector space S plus zero 
equals s in algebraic terminology 0 is the identity element of minkowski addition on the collection of non empty sets equals topic convex hulls of minkowski sums equals Minkowski addition behaves well with respect to the operation of taking convex hulls, as shown by the following proposition Let S1, S2 be subsets of a real vector space, the convex hull of their Minkowski sum is the Minkowski sum of their convex hulls Conva S1 plus S2 equals conva S1 plus conva S2. This result holds more generally for each finite collection of non-empty sets. Conva N S N equals N conva S N Display style text conva left sum underscore n s underscore n right equals sum underscore n text conva left s underscore n right. In mathematical terminology, the operations of Minkowski summation and of forming convex hulls are commuting operations. Topic: Minkowski sums of convex sets. The Minkowski sum of two compact convex sets is compact. The sum of a compact convex set and a closed convex set is closed. <laughs> Generalizations and extensions for convexity The notion of convexity in the Euclidean space may be generalized by modifying the definition in some or other aspects. The common name, generalized convexity, is used, because the resulting objects retain certain properties of convex sets. <laughs> star convex star -shaped sets Let C be a set in a real or complex vector space. C is star convex star -shaped if there exists an x0 in C such that the line segment from x0 to any point y in C is contained in C hence a non-empty convex set is always star convex but a star convex set is not always convex. Orthogonal convexity. An example of generalized convexity is orthogonal convexity. A set S in the Euclidean space is called orthogonally convex or ortho convex. If any segment parallel to any of the coordinate axes connecting two points of S lies totally within S, it is easy to prove that an intersection of any collection of orthoconvex sets is orthoconvex. Some other properties of convex sets are valid as well. Non-Euclidean geometry The definition of a convex set and a convex hull extends naturally to geometries which are not Euclidean by defining a geodesically convex set to be one that contains the geodesics joining any two points in the set. Topic order topology Convexity can be extended for a space X endowed with the order topology, using the total order. The subspace Y is a convex set if for each pair of points A, B in Y such that A equals X element of X, A equals Topic Convexity spaces equals the notion of convexity may be generalized to other objects, if certain properties of convexity are selected as axioms. Given a set X, A convexity over X is a collection C of subsets of X satisfying the following axioms The empty set and X are in C The intersection of any collection from C is in C 
the union of a chain with respect to the inclusion relation of elements of C is in C the elements of C are called convex sets and the pair X, C is called a convexity space. For the ordinary convexity, the first two axioms hold, and the third one is trivial. For an alternative definition of abstract convexity, more suited to discrete geometry, see the convex geometries associated with antimetroids. See also <laughs>